Okay, I'm going to put the co-host. So if I have any issue, tell me. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. Uh, it's my really, my, really my pleasure to do this presentation in English. Pamela Thomas is uh, supporting me and helping me and same Jane, uh, Jane Correa. Pamela, where are you located? I am in lovely and hot San Diego, California. San Diego. You know what, Pamela is coming from Lulu family. So it's our pleasure to get another sister from Lulu. And Jane, where are you located? I am in Denver, Colorado. Oh, so good. I was in Colorado a couple of weeks ago. Oh my goodness, love it. Uh, Pamela Maria Castello is same from Lulu's uh, family. Mira, you have another sister here. Well, today uh, we are doing a presentation about the pleasure of free breathing. So let me share my screen with you. And let's start this. Okay, so today is the pleasure of free breathing. How we are going to do this presentation and welcome all the English speakers. Could you put a oh, mute, please? Thank you. Uh, so, welcome to Okay, thank you. Uh, e, um, how we work, how we do the Zoom. The Zoom, all the participants that are here are welcome to do any questions. The questions, please, could you write in the chat? So between all the consultants, we are helping to answer these questions or at the end of the presentation, we are answering the question that you have. Um, if I have mistakes with my English, Please forgive me, my first language is Spanish and I do my best work, my best job to do in English for all the English speaker consultants. So this group is going to be stronger and it's going to be bigger and we are going to be very successful in this prestigious group. So let's start with this. Um, what is, uh, we read about 20, Thousand, twenty thousands times per day. Uh, when we breathe, we uh, smell everything, everything. So you can uh, smell or synthetic uh, fragrance, like what the candles that you burn or what you are cooking, the onions and the uh, garlic, or we breathe good things like essential oils. So every time that we breathe and we smell, all that sense go to our brain and have an, uh, and have a therapeutic emotional or physical well-being. When we are congested or we have that note that we can no even think, we can no work, we can no feel good, we can no have concentration, we cannot have a good day. So that is our idea today, show you and, and, and let you know how we can use better our products for regulatory and you feel much better in the day. Uh, so I don't know you, but it, um, do you not notarize that most of the products to purify the air or that give us relief when based on eucalyptus? Do you know which products in juice have eucalyptus? Of course, the eucalyptus essential oil. Then we have the eucasol, the main ingredient, eucalyptus, and has another ingredient that we are going to see later. But we have another product that has eucalyptus in the thyme. Thyme cream, thyme essence fat, have eucalyptus in. And which other product? 
the kinesias, the kinesias. So I use echinacea as well on people who has uh, who is ill or have respiratory problems. Okay, eucalyptus, and we are not talking today about aromatherapy, but but I choose one essential oil that is the most important for respiratory problems, that is the eucalyptus. The eucalyptus is uh, an essential oil that has been used for many, many years, uh, centuries, and that helps to prepare uh, for the seasons, the fall and winter seasons, all the change that we have. Now in summer, we are cold inside, hot outside, but now it's changing. We are going to be warm inside and when we open the, the doors or the windows it's going to be very cold that change of uh, cold to uh, hot or warm at home that makes that hopefully we have some respiratory issues the eucalyptus give you back the pleasure of breathing freely and is very very easy to use um what else Emotionally, and this is a, a good thing that I like to put here is the eucalyptus give you the uplifting. When you are uh, with any uh, kind of respiratory problems, you don't feel good. You feel that you want to be in your bed resting. You don't want to go to work or to study. You don't want to do anything. You need a little energy. You need a little vitality. And the the eucalyptus give you that, that, that uplifting that you need to feel better. Also, when you are sick, you don't think clear, 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 clearly, um, your clear, your, your thoughts always are, you are, you are in front of the computer, your creativity is go down. Uh, if you have to go to your office, you feel miserable in your office. So the eucalyptus give you that, that helps you with the concentration, help you with the focus in what are you doing and clears your mind so you can have a better uh, things, a better um, thoughts. Also encourage a sense of extra support. So you feel uh, stronger, you feel much better. Physically, the, the uh, eucalyptus have a beautiful therapeutic properties. The first one is an airborne antimicrobial. Is the reason because we spray eucasol or we use the diffuser with eucalyptus when you don't feel well or when your kids come home and they say, oh, mom, I don't feel good. And there is sniffing, running nose. And, and you say, OK, here is the cold coming or any virus is coming. So put the diffuser with the eucalyptus and that is going to help to prevent that the other people in your house office or a school get uh, contaminated. It's an excellent antibacterial, it's great anti-inflammatory. So why is important? When we have respiratory problems, bronchitis, uh, sinus infections, pneumonia, our lungs are inflamed, our nose, our sinus, all that area is inflamed inside. Our throat is in, inflamed. So the eucalyptus help you to um, um, reduce that inflammation and help to feel better and recover better. It's antifungal, and that is something that is important when we have any infection for uh, fungi. And of course, it's a great digestion and a mucolytic. What means mucolytic that help you to throw out all the mucus? If you have any question or if you do not understand what I am saying, please raise your hands. Uh, the chat is very slow, so I want to see that everyone is understanding what I am saying. If you have any idea, please write right now in the chat, okay? Elcasol, we have here a guest who is going to talk about Elcasol. Is called Pamela Thomas. Pamela, welcome. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, as I'm sure most of you know, Eucasol is the top use selling product. So, it's and for good reason. It works very, very well. It's made up of various essential oils like eucalyptus, camphor, peppermint, rosemary, and clove. So, all of those are excellent 
essential oils on their own, but combined together, they make up the power of Eucosol. Eucosol helps clear the airways. So inevitably, most people either get sick or have some kind of sinus problem. This product works excellently for helping reduce the inflammation, as was stated by Jimena, as well as clear out all of that stuff that's in your sinuses and that helps you breathe better. So um, it's also good for allergies, right? So being sick is one thing. And you know, it's really hard to tell if you're sick or if you have allergies, but basically the symptoms are the same and you wanna get rid of all of that mucus. And this helps do that. Um, I know um, vape, Vicks Vapor Rub was huge when I was a kid, right? And then I think that in Spanish, is, you all pronounce it vaparu. And so the cool thing about it is that this Eucosol is far better than the vapor rubber Vaparu is because it's got all of these natural things in it. Whereas Vaparu, sure it has some limp eucalyptus or camphor, but it's not all natural. And Eucosol uh, is non-greasy. Whereas the Vaparu is in a petrolatum, Eucosol is all natural stuff. So you're doing way better right off the top. And then, you know, you're trying to wash this stuff off your hands and it doesn't come off, that's just horrible. So with Eucosol, you can use it in a variety of ways, which you cannot do with vapor rubber vaparu because like I said, it gets all over everything. So you can spray this on your clothes, you can spray it on your pajamas or spray it on your pillows or on your bed so that when you're sleeping, it helps to keep your sinuses open and you can breathe better and get a good night's sleep because as we know, sleep is critical to feeling better you can spray it also on your pillowcases around your house to kind of clean the air out a little bit. And um, it just works great all the way around. It is also, you can use it for kids as well, but some of the ingredients in Eucosol are contraindicated for children under two. So just be super careful with it. I believe that there is a picture of Jimena's grandson with his teddy bear um, and his mom, so here's his mom spraying his teddy bear and then giving the teddy bear to the cute, adorable little guy with his dinosaur pillowcase. And so he can still get the benefits of the Eucosol without having it directly on his skin. So as I stated, be super careful. I believe it's the peppermint and the camphor that's contraindicated for children under two. So just if you do use it, just be super careful. I know I've had babies and have used this nearby them and it's worked really well. And another thing you can do is spray it in your hands, rub your hands together, kind of warm it up and then put it near their face so that they get, they can breathe the air that's got the scent in it. Yes, just, you know, move the air so that the air will move it into the sinuses and also spraying it in the shower to um, the heat helps expand it and expand your lungs and expand your sinus cavities so that all of that can get in there and help clear all of that out. Um, Jane, how how another application of the how could be? You are in mute, Jane. Okay. Okay. So other applications is <clears throat> if you have a tissue. Uh, here, let me see. You spray it on right? It's on the tissue. And if you put it on your face, oh, that smells so good. It really helps to open those airways. So if at any point you don't want to get it on your hands or um, you need it, you know, and you don't want to put it directly on you, this putting it on a tissue and breathing it directly really helps. It does the job and I have to put mute because I have a concert on my back. Uh, in the, you can use as well on your mask. Um, now that we have to use masks frequently, so put on the side of the mask and wear so you can breathe much better, not the contaminate air that we are breathing when we have, um, when we have the mask all day. So, uh, thank you, the Pam was amazing. Good presentation, congratulations, that was awesome. Now, Jane is going to talk to us about time. Okay, so time with Swiss juice, we have it in two forms. We have it as a cream, and we also have it as a bath essence. 
Okay. Colds often, uh, when we start with a, a cold, it often turns into a cough. And when that happens, we usually, people usually go to cough syrups to kind of suppress that cough. And so these are excellent. Both of these are excellent options to use um, to kind of help with that cough. These are natural expectorants, the thymus. So it will help take out all that gunk. And so these are a few ways that you we can use the thyme uh, cream and bath essence, for example, for babies. We want to put them at the bottom of their uh, feet, the soles of their feet. So we use very little, right? Especially if they're very young, we use very little um, and we rub it at the bottoms of their feet. It's also okay to combine these two and kind of rub at the bottom of the feet, but for babies, this alone will do the job. For infants, um, we will want to massage their chest, the back and the feet. Um, and this will help with the congestion. Of course, if they have the cold, the cough on the chest will help, you know, with inflammation, with the uh, mucus accumulation. And the other point here is the lymphatic massage on their face when they have congestion to the sinuses. When we have congestion in the sinuses, we wanna get all of that gunk out. So putting, rubbing this, massaging a little bit of the time cream on the bridge of the nose, right? The sinuses is all of this area, the forehead, the bridge of the nose and kind of into the cheek area. So doing massage there uh, with the time cream will really help uh, push the, all of that gunk to the lymphatic system and get it out. So this is excellent to do. So thyme and Ilkosol combined is excellent for several reasons. So the thyme is applied uh, by massaging the chest, neck, back, and soles of the feet, applying to the neck and chest for an instant well, uh, feeling of well-being. So once we, if you haven't tried this already, um, they are on special, <laughs> um, side note, right? Um, but it really, really gives you a sense of breathing better, well-being. It wakes up your, your um, emotions, the senses. It's absolutely amazing. And what's wonderful about it is you can apply it any time of the day, especially at night. And there's something about the nighttime where nighttime comes and the coughing is worse, congestion is worse, fevers come, right? Um, and it's always at nighttime. And when we have a cough, it's usually worse because when we're trying to go to sleep and we're, you know, flat in our bed, that makes it worse. So it's always better to sleep elevated to kind of help with that cough. But the wonderful thing about it is you can apply it as many times as needed any time of the day. And it is also ideal for pampering and soothing children when they are not feeling well and experiencing discomfort. Uh, when this happens in children, when they're very young, they really can't communicate that they're not feeling well. You know, what they do is cry. So when we apply these and we know that they're, you know, we can hear them, that they're having all this gunk, uh, they can't breathe right. When we apply these, it really brings them comfort and they, they start to feel better. Um, Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. And if, oh, this is Jimena <laughs> showing us how this is done with the Ocasol. So we put, apply very small amount here. I don't know if you can see a little small amount and the spray, and you can see how she's applying it. And then with one spray of the Oka so I'm gonna put it on my throat. When you rub together and you apply it on the throat, right, area, chest, the back, it immediately brings a sense of well-being and it smells amazing. Okay, so, and now, for bath time. Bath time is uh, one of the most important areas to focus on when we are sick because we can definitely take advantage of the water and use our bath essences. The reason that we are able to use 
these bath essences is they mix really well with water versus the essential oils oils repel with water so it's very difficult to mix so these bath essences are absolutely key when we are not feeling well so thyme bath essence is used in a warm bath as a complement to the thyme cream um right so it just makes it it help, they help to, um, they complement each other basically by breathing in the essential oil infused vapors uh, emanating from the warm water. It helps to loosen and relax the tension that builds up in the chest. So there's a picture there of the Melissa, Melissa bath essence. This one will help with the achingness in all of the body because usually when we're sick, our body aches too. So Melissa will definitely help with all the achingness we have. Um, it is very comforting for both children and adults because it helps to quickly relieve symptoms. So when we do this, the reason that they help so much is when we use that warm water, it, our uh, skin, the pores in our skin are dilated. And so when this happens, the product is absorbed more easily into our skin, which is the largest organ in our body. So it works amazing if you do this. Um, so bath essences are very important to have at hand, especially this one, right? So it works well with the time cream. So when we're in the bath, we use this one. And when we get out of the bath, we start applying the time cream and the eucasol. And you said that you have an announcement about the promotion? I do, I do have an announcement. So right now until the end of the month, the eucasol spray is on special and it's 10% off. So this is 10% off. Our time bath essence is 20% off and the time cream is 15% off right now. So you can get the three of these, which you want to have at hand. Uh, I was telling Pam earlier, um, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So winter is coming, cold season, and I strongly recommend you have the three of these at home because when nighttime comes and somebody starts to feel ill, not good, you want to have these. <laughs> so they are special, take advantage of the, of the um, savings. And this, these will be on special till the end of the month, but don't wait. Mm -hmm. Pam, and you can tell uh, all your friends what is the difference to uh, for us, like consultants, get the products and, and promotion? So if, if the Elkasol is 10% of how much us, like consultant, we pay? Or what is our discount, like consultant? Oh, so our discount is 25%, is it not? We get a 25% discount on top of whatever the sale price is. So you get, you know, like the Yucasol would be 35% off and the time cream would be 30, 35% off. So now's a good time now to buy. The 15 plus 25, it's going to be the 40% oh, off. 40, yeah, so my math, public school, exactly. sorry. Exactly, yeah. and the time is in, it's 20%. So how much is our discount? Oh, wow, that's 45, that's huge. Exactly. So for us, like consultant, it's time to get the products that you're going to sell because when, like Jane say, when someone need it, need it right now, no, in two, three days. Okay. So have a little, I, I always have two, three with me. So it's the time to get it. And when you sell, you're going to have a lot of money in your pocket. Okay. So thank you, Jane. You did a great presentation here. And, um, I, I was to, um, let me like, okay, here. Like Jane say, this is the difference when you do um, hydrotherapy, this water, and you see it's like milky. When the hydrotherapy essence bath that we have is in contact with water, they blend because they, we have a, like a emulsifier, so they blend perfectly and you are not going to see drop of oils in the bottle. So you can use directly in the skin, you can use on the body, and you can, of course, do a bath and it's excellent. Thank you, Jane, for that. That was 
today. And that essential oil that we use uh, in respiratory problems, is, they are going to be the T3, of course, the peppermint or the three means that is gray, and the rosemary. They are the three essential oils that I choose. I have in my diffuser right now, peppermint and eucalyptus. So that helped me to be focused, concentrated, and memorize what I have to say and how I have to say it that is it. Uh, I have fever or your kids have fever or someone in your home. The mint is the essential oil. How you can use the mint? You can use in cold compress. So just put water in a bowl with a couple of ice cubes, two or three ice cubes. So it's not too cold. It's just cold. It's nice. But um, I like to use like Claudia teach us like a fabric like this. Uh, flannel towels because the towels is going to absorb the water. So put a, a, a fabric that is light, put inside with the uh, mint or three mints in water and put over the forehead, the chest and in the low belly. So that is going to help to move down the fever. Also, you can use the Melissa as well to move down the fever. So that is going to help you in that moment you have to give silent or no dream that the doctor say because always we have to listen to the doctor we are not doctors so we have to consult our doctors if someone is ill in our home so between that time that the doctor say oh give tylenol and then motrin for fever and the fever go up and you don't know what you can do mean uh, in cold compress is great to move down the the fever. Then um, we have the rosemary. For me, rosemary is is the best. Um, a couple of years ago, I have a big, big um, pain in my chest, pain on my back. Even I cannot breathe very well. I feel like my eyes was like when you have fever, like it's like crying, but I take my temperature and was okay. And I thought, oh my goodness, I have pneumonia and I am using time and Neucasol and now I am really sick. I have to go with the doctor. So we went to the ER because I was feeling very, very bad. The, after any medicine that was 800 bill, the doctor say, oh no, it's allergies. So if you live in San Antonio, you know what is allergies. I never have in that. And I say, what is the difference between last year and this year? What this year I have these allergies. And the difference was I moved from one house to the other one. In my old house, I have a big bush of, I say, that is the difference. Always when I go out, I touch the rosemary and I smell because I like how it smells. And I start to read a little more about rosemary. And it's amazing for respiratory problems. The, the uh, compounds of the essential oils, the camphor as well. The rosemary have camphor inside. Uh, so how I use it? I use my diffuser, my pendant diffuser. I Always in the mornings, I put uh, one, two, three drops in my oh, in my little pad, and I keep doing the whole day. Oh, yeah, yeah, here it is. I don't want my butterfly go out. So this is the, the pad, and what I do is I use two drops or three sometimes, and I put over the butterfly, and I wear the whole day. When the season allergies is too strong, sometimes I use the rosemary at night because I really literally cannot breathe. But rosemary gives you energy, so it's better to not use at night. So this is how I use, I keep in my pendant, and you could be with your clothes inside and you're going to smell and the effects of the rosemary in your respiratory uh, sinus, congestions, cough, and even for the eyes, itchy is going to be out. So rosemary is great. You can use in the diffuser. You can use, um, this is, the, the, I, I found this in my house. I have 
this is salt broth and two or three drops over the sea salt broth and my room is smelled very gentle with the rosemary and that helped me as well with my allergies problem uh so i use the salt for like a diffuser like it's like a um how you say passive diffuser you can use the rosemary in the steam uh face steam with hot water close your eyes and put two of uh a rosemary the tiny scents and make the inhalation uh with these vapors and it's going to help you you can use in the diffuser in the rooms with the kids it's fabulous for that one so that is the way that you can use the rosemary as well and the tea tree the tea tree is the best antibacterial that you found is antiviral is an, yeah that is the tea tree jane thank you uh, it's antiviral, it's antibiotic, it's, anti, it's analgesic, it's excellent for all that you are feeling with the congestion, with the fever, with the, ah, uh, that is how you can use. That is going to help you with the symptoms and also as well with the infection, if you get infection with the sinus. How you can use the, the tea tree oil, same with inhalations, uh, with the steam the face steam or you can use in the diffuser you can use in the bath with the time it's great if you are very very ill and you you when you're uh, drain your draining nose is green and yellow is because you have infection so the tea tree in that moment excellent put five drops in half liter of water but not to boil just when you see the steam Cover your face with the towel. Close your eyes if you want. The vapor of the essential oil goes to your eyes. Sometimes are very strong and you can get blind with essential oils. And that is true. So close your eyes, put the towel and make the inhalation around seven to 10 minutes and go. Do that for 14 days for sinus, and it's going to be amazing, the results. Uh, the other thing is add two drops with thyme cream, like Jane do with the eucasol, put the thyme, put two drops of tea tree, and put in your throat if that is the problem. The problem is throat or chest, or you your, your feel that cough that is coming very deep even in your lungs, in your back. So put that one, a massage in your bridge or your nose, in your forehead when you have sinus, make the massage and drain always down and out, okay? You have questions, please. I, the chat is very slow there. And now if you have like, <coughs> all that discomfort that coming from your throat or are on pain, the best is gargles. So what I Use and I use my tea tree with warm water, but just use half glass of water, warm water, and to this add, it, add three drops. Two to three, three drops is enough. If you put more because you think it's better, your mucus could be irritated. So just two or three drops is perfect and make the gargles. Make five minutes gargles and split that water you don't drink the water we don't drink essential oils and uh, make the gargles that is going to be an excellent analgesic for your throat they're going to take that uh pain in your throat and always a great antibiotic our uh, mouth have mucus inside this is all the mucus so they absorb easy the essential oils go very fast to the bloodstream and it is going to work in your uh, throat, in your, no sé cómo se dice amygdalas en inglés, no tengo ni idea, but the glands that you have here, uh, so use it. The other way, the other way is apply, like, just change it, time, and now the one oil, the 31 earth oil is excellent for the pain and the, the throat pain. The time is an antibiotic as well, so that helps you and 
The other thing that is the gimnasia time. So how I use, you recognize these little bottles that come in, in the in the aroma blend set, right? So I put echinacea, I put thyme, and then I spray this one here in my in my neck or under arm. No, or no, and under arm and in your feet. You can use this one frequently in your kids. You can use this in your to prevent and is a booster for your immune system. So that is great to do before, during the cold season, and that is going to get you to don't get sick or recover fast. So I think this is all that we have. Thank you very, very much for being here. We have 18 participants. That is great and beautiful. Thank you, everyone. Uh, uh, so uh, I don't know if you have any questions, especially all the English speakers. If you have a question, please, this is the moment for all of us. Adenoids, uh, Glenda, adenoids is this, right? No, son las adenoides. Oh. Las adenoides son las amígdalas. Sí. Es el nombre común. Okay. Son okay, las okay. otras. ¿Cómo se dicen las otras? Eh, tenemos dos, pero cualquiera de las dos que puedes usar. Okay. No, I, I didn't know. So it's excellent for that. Thank you, Glenn. Okay, questions. I, I want to see all my speaker guests here talking and asking. One by one, one by one, please, please, please. I actually have a testimony for asthma, uh -huh. which is something that's very related to today's products, um, breathing. For my son, um, when I became a consultant, he was a very, he had chronic asthma. And I started using the time cream, the Ilkosol spray and the Olea 31 herbal, 31 herbal oil. So, by mixing the three at night and I put it on his check, chest and his back and then I mixed it again and put it at the bottoms of his feet every day. In the mornings, I would only do these because he would complain that this would make him cold. <laughs> so I would just do these two in the morning. So when he would go to school, he smelled like herbs. <laughs> Um, he didn't like it at first, but then he started getting all this attention, so he didn't mind it. So anyhow, I started doing this every single day, day and night, and his asthma attacks, um, his breathing actually got better significantly because he had trouble um, keeping up at gym time or at recess to run. So after I started applying this, maybe after a couple of days, he noticed he could he could run and he could breathe. He didn't have to pause. Uh, so he was very excited for that. And at home, we noticed he didn't get sick as often because he would start with a runny nose and then he'd have a cough. And then before we knew it, we were in emergency, right? Because he couldn't breathe. So this really helped prevent and to improve his breathing. And now his, he, his asthma symptoms are very, very minimal. He can play soccer all year round and he has absolutely no issues with breathing whatsoever. But um, my mother also has asthma. Her asthma is a little more complicated. It's more emotional because there's so many different types of asthma. Um, and there's so many different types of medication for asthma. So my mother's asthma is a little more complicated. <laughs> it's more emotional. She can't be around perfume. She can't be around any kind of smoke, um, any chemicals, like cleaning chemicals. She cannot breathe any of those because she gets really bad. So anyhow, for her, um, the Ocasol has been amazing. And the time cream as well, the, instead of the 31 herbal oil, the anti-stress is more helpful for her. But what I want to say with these, with asthma, it's very, it's, it's very difficult when they're having the asthma 
attack the difficulty when their bronchioles are closed and there's inflammation and they can't breathe. It, I would not recommend to put any of these on because it can make it worse. What I would recommend to do is probably put it at the bottoms of the feet where it's away from the nose. Um, but I would definitely recommend these as a preventative measure because I have seen how effective they are as a preventive um, measure for colds. I mean, even colds, you know, the, once the cold starts, things get a little complicated, but these have really helped um, prevent even getting the colds because the time cream also helps with um, to strengthen our immune system, which um, we really need it strengthened as well as with the um, the echinacea really helps with that. So having those two have been amazing as well. So I just wanted to share that in case any of you know, have somebody at home with asthma or know somebody that does. Jane, I have a question. Uh, yes. Do you try the, the time baths and essence with your kid uh, in asthma, put yes. him on the water with the bath with the time. And did. that was um, also it helped a lot. Um, and I would also do it. He would get really cold <laughs> because he's older now, and um, you know, getting out of the bath was kind of cold. So what I did do and was very effective is put it in one of these, right? Put warm water the time uh -huh. that sense. and he's watching TV, he's watching the movie, he doesn't even know what's happening with his feet. Um, and I would lose track of time, honestly, but I think if you're, if you have your feet in the warm water, 20 minutes is enough for the product to do its job. Um, that was very helpful as well, because he wasn't very fan of getting into the bath and not doing anything for 20 minutes and just sitting there. So putting the feet in the warm water um, with this time cream, I would, or I'm sorry, the time essence and the echinacea, because of course I wanted his, his immune system to be stronger because all I wanted him is not to have a cold at all because once the cold started, it just kind of got complicated really fast. So what I wanted is just to prevent colds. <laughs> excellent, so, excellent, that is a good tip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jane. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Well, I don't know if someone have another testimony or question. It's 1146 here in San Antonio. Uh, if uh, we have like a couple of minutes, if not. Dime, Maria. Okay. Hello. Hi to everyone. I would like to give a testimony, and this is about um, the time cream, the tea tree cream, um, the Eucasol. These are products that we should always, always have at home. Um, the time cream, I have used it for allergies, for sinus, for headaches, for stomach ache. Um, fantastic, fantastic. The other one that I use a lot, the, the tea, the tea tree oil, I have used it on my outside my mouth when I had problems with my tooth. Um, one time I had the three wisdom tooth re removed and also another day I had a tooth up here on the right side, which, uh, uh it breaked. And honestly, I, I almost... I was I was almost ready to go to the emergency room because the pain was insane. I just want to throw myself on the floor and say, take care of me. I cannot stand this pain anymore. And I remember that I did some gargles with the tea tree oil and also the um uh este polvo que se llama ay Dios mío que viene una cajita and I mixed that with some tea tree oil, did some gargles, and then outside I took some warm, pretty, you know, hot water. I put some uh, balsam in it, 
the Annika balsam and what else was the it? Barney balm. Barnica, Barnica, Arnica balsam and um, some, and some salt. I put a towel in, I squeeze it and put it all around my face, all around my face. And then put a little bit outside of the tea tree oil. And that helped me to sleep through the night until the next morning I had my appointment at the dentist. So I highly recommend all of these products. Thank you, Maria. Thank you very much. Thank you for your testimony. That is very valuable. And, and so, I'm sorry, I just remember one thing. I didn't write it down because this is just on the moment. I also, for the COVID, the Elgasol, the, the Arnica Balsam, the, the, the Time Cream, I used all of those when I had the, when I had the COVID. And I had all the symptoms, all the symptoms. And when I started coughing, like the last three days when I started really, really coughing, that's when I went to the hospital. But if uh, the only things that helped me were the juice products, they kept me, you know, like uh, helped me with the fever, um, helped me with the headaches and all that. And uh, and the cough was the only bad, really bad thing that I couldn't resist. I was two days at the hospital. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, Maria. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And something I just want to point okay, out. Okay, girls, thank you very much. This presentation in English was the first, but not the last. So probably uh, we are going to talk with all the English speakers and do this more frequently, uh, probably once a week or once every two weeks. I don't know. Jane, you have the raise the hand up. So tell me. No, I just want to uh, re reinforce the fact that they are on special. It is always good to have a couple at home in your inventory because you'll have clients that will need them right now. And if they're not feeling well, they want it today. You know, this moment I can come pick it up uh, because they can't wait a week or five days for them to arrive to you or to them. So I strongly recommend you have a few at home. And since they're all special, it's going to save you money. So you have to the end of the month. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Okay, my friends. So thank you very much. We did it on time. So that is amazing. And hopefully we are going to have more English speakers like Pamela that you did a great job today as well. Invited to do this for all of us. It was a pleasure for us, right? Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone. Thank Bye. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye. Janetica, que te sigas mejorando. Bye. Bye-bye.